Hello everyone and welcome back to Silver Star Arcade and more the journey down chapter 3 in the last episode We're catching up with Lena after like 5 million years I know it's amazing She's in the underland with the Susulu pirates And we need to find a way to get that plane up and running also. What's with this phantom barrel that you can see through? Oh, wait, no, no, it's a bear. Okay, so it's a box here in the distance. And then this here is its casted, like, reflection off this metal floor. Okay. Can I talk to him Better now? Better not attract his attention. That must be the speaking tube from where he gets his orders from Madame Sisulu. Hmm. That's... All right, so if only I could figure out a way to unlock the airplane. This would definitely be my ticket out of here. Oh yeah, that's right. So I need to unlock it. Hmm, I. That's. Not sure what good. Hmm, I don't. That's probably. Okay. I don't know how much of this is actually. I'm coming to get you, Madame Sisulu. You can run. But you can't hide. Nice. I don't know how much of this is actually going to be what? with you? Lena, but... What are you doing here? Ha! Huh. Now let's see how tough you are without your pirates around. On God! Yeah, think you're coming. Oh, come on! Ship rat. Adam, is everything all right? Madam? Yes. <laughs> okay, everything is all right. Back to work. Aye, aye, madam. You've defeated me, but I will have my revenge. Well, I'm not going to stick around here and fight with you. I'm going to stop the power company before it's too late. <laughs> Foolish little girl. I admire your tenacity. But without the horn of our Kwan, you won't stand a chance. You can help me stop the power company. This airship is a flying fortress. This. You know it's the right thing to do. Forget about the treasure! The horn is no mere treasure. No mere trinket. It's a weapon, you fool. A weapon? What are you talking about? The horn of Awa Kwan will make me the master of the Hongriz. It is the birthright of the Sisulus and the key to ultimate power. The Underland and all its beauty will be mine. All mine. Your greed has gone to your head, Madam Sisulu. If you refuse to help me, I'm going to have to go alone. I'm going to save the Great Asili Tree. Hope you don't mind if I use one of your airplanes. God, why does the audio only crap out on me when I when I desperately need it to stay up. This airship sure carries some serious firepower. Oh yeah, it does. God damn, she wasn't joking. Hmm, maybe I should just kick Sisulu overboard and take the throne myself. This pirating business seems pretty lucrative. You're telling me. I like golden riches as much as the next person, but I've no use for it down here in the Underland. Well, you're not going to live in the Underland for the rest of your life. Take a few. Put it in your bag. I like golden riches as much as the next person, but I've no use for it down here in the Underland. <sighs> Ahoy, Walter! Aye, madam. What can we do? I need you to unlock an aircraft for me. Aye. Which plane would you like unlocked? Uh, the one right there on the elevator. 
Sorry, madam. I cannot tell which one that is. You've got to give me a name or I cannot unlock it. Oh, all right. The plane is called... Uh, uh... Um, I'll have to get back to you on that. I have to find the name of that airplane down in the hangar. See, like, um, I feel like I should have been allowed to take the book that's required for that, like, immediately. Right? Because I know where the book is, but for some stupid reason. Oh, cool. Lena didn't want to take the book. So now we gotta go back to the treasure chest and grab the book that we've already grabbed. Well, here's the manifest with all the airplane names. But without an airplane number, I can't cross-reference the correct name. So, well then stop putting the manifest back in the chest, you dumbass! Take it with you! Buona wouldn't be this boneheaded. The plaque here says 42668. That's got to be the airplane ID number. But I need the name of the airplane, not the number. Uh, this is just tedious pad, and it feels like. Okay, let's have a look in the manifest. Let's see. Airplane ID 42668. Aha! Here she is. The Flying Dagger. Alright, that was a pretty cool name. Aw, isn't she cute? All bundled up like that. <laughs> Ahoy, Wolthar! Aye, madam. What's your bidding? I need Mario. you to unlock an aircraft for me. Aye. Which plane would you like unlocked? Ice climbers! The Flying Dagger. Aye. Unlocking the Flying Dagger now. Oh, that's why he needs the name, because it's done remotely. That's actually really cool. Hmm. Ah, the key to the legendary Temple of Elders. Oh, shoot, I didn't see that. Oh, you think I should take it with me? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, it's nice that the game doesn't let you miss that. I 100%. I thought more of you, Sisulu. Now, with the fate of the world in your hands, you choose to think only of yourself. Turns out, you're nothing but a common thief. You know, I 100% thought that was just part of the treasure pile that Lena, for some reason, wouldn't take from. Okay, Lena, you can do this. Hmm, what would Buona do? Probably just... Yes! It's working! Oh no, 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 no! We're getting more Lena adventures? Holy shit, Where? this is going to be a good Where episode. Am I? Oh shit, we going to meet Count and Dodo. Oh, I think I better stay in bed for a while. My head is still spinning. What was that? What kind of a strange place have I wound up in? Is the old bastard really alive? I must be dreaming! Uh-oh, someone's coming. Hey, look who's awake! <laughs> Webster, give us a groove. Not what I expected him to sound like. Just in time for the barbecue, lady. Barbecue? What... What is this place? What happened? <laughs> You've done quite a landing, lady. 
bang down in the swamp. Old Cannon Dodo fish you up good. Your Cannon Dodo? Wait, you're alive? Ha! Alive and never better. <laughs> Sounds like we got some talk to do, lady. Come join me on the beach. Not what I expected Cannon Dodo to sound like at all. Also, I think his voice is different than the flashback so we saw him in. that's why I sent Bona and Kito back up to the city. <laughs> How I miss my boys. Can't wait to see them again. It's been so long. I've been down here quite a while, you know. I got plenty of time to do some thinking. <gasps> it's the great Asili tree. That's where the power company is mining root crystals. Yeah, lady. We got to get the horn of our Kwan and stop them before it's too late. The horn of our Kwan? That's what Madam Sisula was talking about. I must have been to the temple of the elders thousand times. I spent years trying to get a horn, but without the key, we never get inside. You need the key, huh? You mean this? <laughs> You're just a fool of surprise, aren't you, lady? So what are we waiting for? Let's head for the Temple of Elders. Well, I got the boat ready. Excellent. Let me just have a quick look around on your island first, and then I'll be good to go. All right, lady. Man, Cannon Dodo has that kind of go with the flow attitude that Kido does, but he also kind of talks like Buana. I'm going to be honest, I expected a little more grandiose reveal for Cannon Dodo aside from, hey lady, you want barbecue? What a cute little guy. What's he doing up there? Oh, he's just munching on his crackers as usual. You got to eat them before the birds take them. <laughs> they just love stealing his crackers. Ooh, I see pictures. Oh, shoot. Hey, I know him. That's Barlow. Yeah, man, he was a good friend here. <laughs> we had a lot of fun together. Who's that man in the background? That is my old boss. He's bad, bad to the bone, that man. Steal me away from my boss and imprison me. He's the fool in charge of this whole drilling madness. What's that thing there on the pedestal? That lady is the end of the castle. You should have never dug it up. There be dark powers there. Dark, dark powers. Better left untouched by man. So, the power company have got their hands on the urn of Mia Kazo. I'm getting a really bad feeling about this. Man, this, this is going to end with, like, summoning the ancient gods to do battle, like Godzilla. Hey, it's Buona and Kito. I hope they're doing okay up there in St. Armando. I gotta admit, I miss those guys. Maybe you should have been nicer to them. Oh yeah, they're also committing small acts of terror. Wow, this seashell is something special, isn't it? You go on, take it, lady. Really? Thank you. Hmm. You're not going to take the other piece to it? It's a box with some oranges and bananas in it. I'm not really that hungry, though. So, I'm inside an old ship of some sort. This must have been the captain's quarters. Wow, the view from up here is spectacular. Lots and lots of old books on eel trawling. Really? Why would he need eel trawling? Boy, that monkey sure has good taste in music. I wonder what this thing does. Is there a curtain I can take or... Oh! It's an empty 
canvas. Strange. What's this? Oh, wow. This was written by the legendary Captain Mbima. This document must be over a hundred years old. How in heaven's name did he wind up down here in the Underland? Oh boy, who's ready for more of my terrible reading voice? Captain's log of the AS Miss Mistraker. Mistracker? Signed M. Bina, P. Fog date 421-34. Oh god, it's gonna be hard to read. It is with mirthless determination that I, Captain Poodleworth Mbina, here in these last pages of the Mistraker's logbook, do chronicle the final chapter of my own tenuous and insignificant endeavors. Like the mariners of Hude Ford and the misters of Cape, Cape Nakawa, so have I braved the straits of the Falls Rock to seek out the fog dwelling beasts. But for what purpose, I ask thee? Was it not for the vain pursuit of valor and glory? Mariners, hath not thee proclaimed thyself champions of the temp tempest? Misters, hath thou not proclaimed themselves slayer of the hungries? On this deluxive quest, or delusive quests given chase to the gilded spoils of the mist i foolishly brought the mist shaker to perish in the fathomless depths of the abyss for like altars to the eternal ocean the mightiest storms unnecessarily crave sacrifice of mortal men but although the horror of the storm did not spare the soul of a single member of my crew i am forever grateful to be purged by its Wait, so does that mean everyone died? But although the horror storm did not spare the soul of a single member of our crew, I am forever grateful to be purged by its fierce blast. It cleansed my clouded spirit and gave way to reckon reckoning and disillusion. Dice. What is that word? It cleansed my clouded spirit and gave way to reckoning and disillusionment, like the beam from a distant lighthouse that kindles the hopes of the shipwrecked. Stranded upon these alien shores, I have come to learn many profound truths that remain obscured above the weight of mist. Indeed, the grand library of Pongo Kuba recounts the progress of civilization, but alas, what can it tell us about the Thari, the rootless spirits, the keepers and the elders, and indeed, the vaulted town hall archives of Port R2 detail the arduous practice of ore mining and, met and metallurgy, yet they speak nothing of the Bechet, whose crystal veins form the living iron upon which the very city was founded. These, these archaic wisdoms persist in the d dominion if the Underland alone, of the Underland, that looks like an eye persists in the domain of the underland alone, a mythos imbalanced in the sacred scriptures passed down by the Sus by the Osasulu, the, the Angi and the Cham Shamgara peoples since time immemorial. Good God, his handwriting is getting worse. Now be it known that among these countless legends, none is more awe-inspiring than Hunks Bling or astounding than that of the Great Eels. For as the Great Eels lurk at the outskirts of the material realm, nightmarish fantasies in the lens of the overworld spyglass, these same wondrous creatures are held in reverence by the inhabitants of the Underland. In the eyes of the Illuminated, the Hungries form a swarming yeomanry of the skies, the guardians of an older world. Visit this grim, with this grim realization, I abhor the su suggested ways, or savage ways of the harpoon, and I loathe the murderous and cruel vocation to which I have dedicated my life's work. A representative, a rep, life work, 
A repentant beast of prey, I stand now on the precipice of the afterlife, and thus I resolve to embark upon my final voyage, commanding this withered corp corporeal vessel on its last eth ethereal journey, steadfast across the most distant horizon. Solemnly, I ride the icy gale of I ride the icy gale of death. Cludoworf Mbina, Captain of the AS. A mosquito repellent. Interesting. Aha! Nice. I don't think I actually need to do that. Give me back my recipe. Lots and lots of old. Well then. Hey, Kanan Dodo. I'm working on this mosquito repellent, see? And I'm gonna need a couple of ingredients. I'm sure you can find what you need across the island somewhere. The underland is a land of plenty, man. Ooh, grill. The sweet smell of the fruit on the grill is wonderful. Go on, take one, lady. It's my own specialty. Stuffed fruit tofu rat. Did you say rat? <laughs> it's not real rat, lady. It's pure item vegetarian goodness. I bake it from the mushroom and the fruit of the island. Shape it like a rat, you know, for the look. Right. Nice. I'll, uh... Keep it for later. Bell. Hey, what's this bell over here? I'm training Webster to fetch my fruit. Go ahead, try it. All right, Webster. Fetch me a mango, please. Ask for a coconut. I hate to say it, Conan Dodo, but I don't think Webster really got the idea. You got to put on the projection first, upstairs. Ah, uh, okay. So I did have to do that. Aha! Alright, let's try it again. See, the, the entire third chapter should have just been this. Aha! Got me a coconut. Thanks, Webster. Good monkey. Alright, now let's take a look at that recipe again. One half coconut oil, four fresh leeks of mint, one petal and clubsius, four. Lots and lots of. Are any of those recipes on this? Well, Kamen Dodo said this is all vegetarian, but it sure looks like a real rat. Not sure why anyone would intentionally make it look like this. It smells pretty good, though. Yeah, Count and Dodo's kind of weird. Let's talk with him. How'd you wind up in this place? It's beautiful. Yeah, lady, it's my own private paradise. Can't say I miss anything down here, except my voice, of course. But this sure beats the prison cup. I'm sure it does. Hey, Count and Dodo. I'm more, and I'm gonna need a couple of- I'm sure you can find what you need at the underline. Hey, Conan Dodo, you know how to open one of these? Sorry, lady, I got nothing on that. He seems pretty happy just munching on- I think I'll just leave him- Oh, alone. I know what to do, I know what to do, because we've done this before. Hmm, I don't think that's going to what work. What do you mean you don't think that's going to work? You saw Buana do it. 
probably not... Not sure what... I don't want to mess with the gramophone. This music is jamming. Oh, wait, wait, I got the, uh, do I still have the sword? Why on earth would I get rid of the sword? Hmm, I... That's... He seems pretty... I think I'll just... Okay, Canon Dodo. I'm ready to head for the temple. Yeah, shoot. Oh, I can just, like, choose. The great this is beautiful. Tree. How majestic. And there's Zone 1, the power company's main drilling site. Hey, look! Yeah, these scraps are funny creatures. They look sort of dangerous. <laughs> no need to be frightened, lady. I should take a closer look at those guys. They're gonna get pinched. <laughs> they are shy little crabbies. Aw, and I was hoping to get myself a little pet. Can I give them the coconut? There you go, little guys. Looks like they got quite an appetite. Okay, enough munching, little friends. Shoo! Nice. <coughs> so, I w so I was right. I have to, like, go to different places. All right, I think we oh, wait, got wait, what we wait, came wait, no, for. I did. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait, no, 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 go back, go back, go back, because I do want to. This is madness. The power company are going to drill straight into the very heart of the Asili tree. Yeah, lady. We got to get the horn of our corn and stop them before it's too late. I never thought I'd witness the great Asili tree with my own two eyes. This land is very beautiful, which is an even bigger reason why I think it's a travesty that, you know, not all of Chapter 3 is set here in the Underland. Let's like, everything's go. been kind of dark and gritty, right? Like, like Chapter 2 was like an Afro-Noir-esque chapter, right? The first chapter literally takes place at night at Dingy Dock, and now we're like doing an underground revolution up in San Armando. Like, give me some be- like, change it up a little. Give me the beautiful Underland. But that being said, I am absolutely in love with this game and I love it with wow, all my heart. Gloomy place. You come here often? Oh, uh, no, lady. I stay out of the swamp as much as I can. But when I saw your airplane come down, I have to have a look, you know? <laughs> yeah. Thanks again for scooping me out. What a dark and gloomy place this is. Reminds me a little bit too much of Port Artu. I bet Barlow would have felt right at home here. Are we not going to tell him that Barlow's dead? <laughs> the Swamp Cobra is no happy fellow. You don't want to make him angry. I'm not making him angry. You want a rat? How about a nice rat on a stick straight from the grill? Go fetch, Snakey. Aha! <laughs> nice gone, lady. Hey, what's this shiny little thing? A snake scale. That'll make a nice souvenir. Oh, I didn't know snakes had those kind of scales. Like, I know they had scales, okay, but I thought they were I'm like the rubbery the kind. Right, see you soon, lady. Wow, there's a landing Vaughn I would have been proud of. I'm glad Count and Dodo pulled me out of this swamp. I would have been eaten alive by all these mosquitoes. There's
There's no way I'm coming any closer with all these mosquitoes around. Ah, uh, okay. So what does that mean I need? Um, Did you get that thing you were looking for? No, I couldn't get close enough. Way too many mosquitoes around that airplane. <laughs> yeah, they are nasty little creatures. I'm gonna have to find some way to get rid of them. Uh, one petal eclipto. Can't read that last one. All right, well, we are going to... Ooh, time. So, we're going to have to do that in the next episode. Oh, my God, I had so much fun with this episode. It was awesome. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, stay safe, have fun, and have a great day.